Reaction Playback If you make 120k a year You're broke You're broke bitch this but i will say it again hourly wage is not worth it i will never be going back working for the white man i will be working for myself i will be working for tips i will be creating my own business because working for hourly pay hold the fucking phone working for tips where for the white man okay <laughs> does she believe that because she gets tipped that she is not doing the same thing other people are doing she's independent dog she's an entrepreneur, entrepreneur. No, i don't want to be an entrepreneur anymore I don't, I don't want that label i'm i want whatever they're not because this obsession with wanting to do your own thing when it you don't wild. have the facilities for that and especially when you're literally not doing it it's crazy it's not it. sir one hundred sixty thousand dollars a year is not a lot of money. It's a lot of money to some Americans because Americans are broke. But $100,000 is not a lot of money. But congratulations. Okay, wait. America has the biggest economy in the world. <laughs> to compare it being broke because a lot of Americans are broke, who are you comparing it to? Hong Kong? Who are, like Monaco? <laughs> like, who are you like, who are you comparing it to, bro? Who, like, it has to be Hong Kong. Yeah, like, literally. That's the only way America's like, broke, if you compare it to Hong Kong like, and Monaco. Like, who else are you comparing it to? Like, the level of entitlement or delusion is ridiculous. But even $117,000, even in, even in America, it's a lot of money, though. Let's, let's be clear. That is a lot of money. You're borderline making twice as much as the average. I'm from California. Average where? My parents were making at least 400000 a year with a combined income. In California? And I'm in Arizona now. So, like, for those of you who may not have seen my video, I just want to explain <laughs> this, okay? $100,000 yeah, a year. To me. Or let's say $117,000 a year is $10,000 a month. My rent is $2,000. I eat at least $2,000 worth of food a month. This comment, 107. Yo. Yo, you sound so fucking dumb. Let's just, all right, let's be clear what, what, what you just said. Cause this is the real problem with Americans is that y'all don't have any financial literacy at all. You're dumb, dog. Dumb Major as fuck. Majority of Americans are making it just fine with a third of their income going to rent. You complaining about a fifth of your income going to rent because you're making ten thousand dollars a month. <laughs> and your rent is only $2,000, that's a fifth. Even if you were to gas it, because I don't think you spend $2,000 on fucking food. Even if you were to gas it though, and say that you spend $2,000 on food, that's still only $4,000. Let's say I, you gas it again, $2,000 go to, goes to your, um, your, your transportation, car and car insurance. You still have $4,000 left over. What world are you living in where three, where you don't have enough money, where that's not enough money for you to survive off of? Yeah, there's no place in the world where anything exists. You can go to Tokyo and make that work. $10,000 a year is $10,000 a month. It's not that I live a lavish lifestyle. It's that I live an adult life. I'm 25 years old. You cannot survive on $10,000 a month. I can't. I can't. <laughs> This is just one of the comments I'm gonna stitch because a lot of people are taking my video out of context. Ten thousand dollars where I live. You're in Arizona, <laughs> bro. You'd have thought she lived in fucking Bellas. You would have, yeah. Even you would have thought you live smack dab downtown Tokyo penthouse. You would have thought, bro. But even, even if she lived in Bel Air, for one person, bro, ten thousand dollars a month is still more than enough. And what's crazy is you, you've already revealed to us that, that one of your biggest expenses, which is your housing, is only two thousand dollars a month, bro. <laughs> you have eight more thousand of additional <laughs> necessary expenses. <laughs> Where you're living paycheck to paycheck. Everybody, everybody making like 40,000 a year right now is like, dog. <laughs> You're in Arizona. Wait, You're taking it out of context. <laughs> you don't get it. You don't get it. Look, if I spent 2,000 on my house and 8,000 on a vacation, I'm done. Oh. So what am I going to do? I need more. Oh, fuck, I'm going to ask bro. my mom and dad. They make 800,000 combined. <laughs> They make enough. Even oh, them, like, my God. even them. You yeah, know? We were barely making it back then. Not a lot of money. Being a young adult, being someone who likes to travel, <laughs> being someone who likes to <laughs> see, being see, that's lavish. That's lavish. People, people can't afford vacations and traveling. That's called lavish. Oh fuck, bro. And and the, the audacity you <laughs> said. <laughs> the way what the fuck is this serious? Yo, oh, the, it's not lavish. We went to Bali. We went like we do a vacation yeah, every month. It's nah, not lavish. I, I just like to travel, dog. I just like to travel. That's 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 luxury. everybody likes to travel, bitch. That's not a personality trait. <laughs>
hate when people say that too. By the way, I don't know if we're gonna keep. I don't know if we kept in the footage, but just to let you guys know, she just has her ass out as a waitress. Just, <laughs> I just, that just in nice case you. Just like, just in case you thought like she was, she was doing something big. She was doing she's not an big. entrepreneur. Just to break it, <laughs> just to like break the ice. She's not. Hey, he was like, bro, I'm getting tired of this she's shit. She's not. Bro. Of this. Let's, I'm, let's I'm like, bringing, I'm bringing the cat out the bag, nigga. She's not an yeah, entrepreneur. Bro, she's just a fucking waitress with her ass and tits out. That's all she does, bro. And she thinks she's hot shit. So much so to where 10k ain't enough, bro. You that know what's funny? You, you miss spending it. I don't even feel like I'm an entrepreneur because I just hold like oh, entrepreneurs fuck. to such a high standard, you know. So the fact that she's like, yeah, you know, I'm self, you know, my own. Oh, I work for the white man now. Like, literally, like, does that mean maybe the restaurant's black owned? Is that what she's trying to say? I guess, but I think it sounds like she's more so. You still work for the man, though. You still work for the man, the theoretical yes. individual who runs your life. But she thinks she's there. different though because she she pays, she gets tips. She's conditioned herself to believe like if I work hard enough I'll get more tips that's like a car salesman like no 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 I'm independent because like exactly. I get commission on yeah, my that's literally what she's saying no I basically get commissions on me shaking my you're ass around, with around the, around the but that's good though I think more people like if you're very ambitious you should get a job but you're not an you're entrepreneur saying. though yeah, you're not you're not different from anybody else no, the only sir. difference is is that you you work in an environment where there is no no ceiling or cap on how much money that you can earn mm -hmm. so there's an actual incentive for you to work harder mm -hmm. so that's fine but you're not a fucking entrepreneur because you still work for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Someone who likes to work out, being someone who does a lot of activities, and also working at a restaurant is my part-time job, so I do have other incomes. Um, I was not bashing anyone who does not make 100000 a year. Really I'm just saying fun. that in specific areas, in a lot of areas, $100,000 is not a lot, especially when you have a family. Especially don't when have you're, a family. You, know what I mean? and, you uh, don't, but you don't, though. You don't have a family, A. B, you literally call majority of Americans broke. So I don't, I mean, I don't know. Like, how, how else are they supposed to take that? Y'all need to stop being so sensitive. I'm sorry. I'm not responsible for how you take my videos. I'm not responsible Yo, for your feelings. Um, all I can say is I'm very direct. You can ask me anything. Um, and I'm not a silver spoon child. Like, fuck. 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 Marcella, this is not adding up. Bro, the lack of self-awareness is so it's fucking. It's something we don't know. Yo, this is peak lacking self-awareness. 
You said that your mom and dad combined was almost netting half a million dollars, nearly half a million dollars, and you're saying that you weren't silver spoon? So you're saying 20 years ago when you were being raised that they were barely making it by with making nearly half a million dollars? When I was talking about um, $100,000 dividing it by 12 months being $10,000 a month, my rent is $2,000. Now, the rent in Arizona may be different to where you are. There are other financial decisions I can make. For example, if I wanna save money, I can live with someone else, like a roommate. <laughs> but I don't wanna live with a roommate. I wanna live alone. I wanna have my own place. I mean, like, yes, I said Americans are broke, but I feel like I was just like- A moment ago, she didn't give a fuck with that. Now all of a sudden, she's making two of the responses to it. Ah, oh, well, let me clarify. It was out of context, but I meant was- And I'm. I'm so serious, bro. It doesn't matter how much you try to break this down. Bro, if you only spend $2,000 on rent making $10,000, you are fine. You're actually more than fine. The fact that you try to get on TikTok and explain like, well, this is how I meant and how I'm gonna break it down. And I person, I personally, personally me, I wanna live on my own. That may be different for you and like you're talking down to people. Maybe you wanna live in a group home. <laughs> yeah. That's up to you. You're, maybe you wanna live in a foster care. I get that. But me personally, I want to live on my own. Now, 2000 maybe, like, what's crazy? She's making it seem like 2000 is like a lot. Bro, that's literally like average at this point. That's actually, I imagine that's above average in Arizona. Honestly, I'm unapologetically myself. I always have been on this app. <laughs> But a lot of you guys um, saw that video and kind of just assumed that I was a silver spoon child. <laughs> and, you know, apps don't really captionize everything about a person. You really just see what they want you to see, right? I watched the video, I posted it. I'm so if app show us what you wanted us to see, I mean, how will you, you take it out of context? That. You showed it to us. Fuck, this is dumb, Mo. <laughs> Damn, this is dumb. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> this is a good video though. No cap. Over a hundred thousand dollars. I said a hundred and seventeen thousand dollars is not a lot of money where I live, it's and not. that's true. If you guys are making sixty thousand dollars a year and you're okay with that, good for you. I should move to those places because that's much cheaper. You than live where there. I'm like, you what? already live there. You fucking idiots. You live there. Holy fuck, you live there. You left Cali, you left the expensive You place. left the more expensive place to move to a, a more, a more, fuck, you're dumb. You already live there. You already live in a place where half of the people, the average people are making 60K. You already live there. This guy comes up to me and he's like, aren't you that girl that's going viral on Twitter right now? And I was like, are you serious? What? And he was like, yeah, like your TikTok about the money. And I was like, oh, so here's, Here's my thing, right? Do any of y'all smoke weed? Do any of y'all smoke Turn this shit on? Off, bro. Turn this shit you off, good? bro. Turn this shit off, bro. No, 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 it's fine. No, shut the fuck up, agent. She's not about to explain to me now that a new expense of hers is fucking weed, agent. Yeah. Turn this fucking thing off, bro. Hold on, there's only like, there's so She's little left. She's about to explain to me that a new expense of hers is weed? No, no, I'm pretty sure she's- Shut up! Shut up! No, you're under. Yo, you're not under. Shut the fuck up! Okay. Do any of y'all smoke on a regular oh. basis? Do you know how much that is? My no, no, version. No, no, no. Of give her a chance. You have to give her a chance. Bro, give her a second this chance. Fucking video off! <laughs> you entitled fuck! There's no way she's explaining to me now that the rest of her fucking money goes to weed, <laughs> and she doesn't believe that she lives a lavish lifestyle. Yeah. You fucking idiot! $8,000 of weed is weed, weed. My version of surviving, or I guess what I meant by surviving is what allows me to live the lifestyle that I want. But I want more, I've always wanted more. And, and I'm glad she said it. A lot of y'all use this word surviving and you don't get what it means. The opposite of survival is dying. So you will be okay without weed. In fact, you'll be okay without your vacations, without your nice apart. You could live way more humbly than you're living. So this is just a, this is a vocabulary misunderstanding, Marcel. She really just meant no, she can't live dumb, the life she bro. wants with 117,000. She's dumb. No, she is dumb. She's fucking dumb. Because by that logic, then what is going to be surviving for you will change when your income also increases. And that's the problem. People don't realize that. The more money you make, the more money people spend. And that's how they actually stay broke. That's what actually happened. 
That is crazy. If you make $117,000 uh, with your ass out being a waitress, then that is fucking impressive. Congratulations. You should be hoarding all of that cash, living as humbly as you can, bro, investing bro. in every way you can so that you can make sure that lasts a lifetime. But bro, bro, even if she even if she made 70,000, that's still more than enough that's to survive plenty. with. Plenty. Unlike her, the ex-director of BLM is living her dream life. That's because she used six million in organization funds to fund her own real estate endeavors. You gotta watch that video, man. If you missed it, it was insane. Welcome back, play back. We have another banger. Um